Hi, my name is Milos and welcome to Element 14 Presents. If you're familiar with this sound, you know how important it is for you not to miss your Spanish lessons, especially if you love your family. So let's make a little reminder that can sit on top of our monitor and remind us not to miss our Spanish lessons. If that sound was unfamiliar to you, that's the Duolingo app. So the Duolingo app is the most popular app for language learning and it's famous for having kinda fun notifications like this. As you can see, these are just literally my screenshots, so there's a lot of notifications like that. So my idea for this project was to make the mascot of the whole Duolingo app, the little duo owl that will, will sit on our monitor and actually remind us to do our Spanish lessons maybe get a bit angry if we don't do our Spanish lessons and stuff like that. Let me draw you out my idea and we can get to making it. So here's what I envisioned for this project. I envisioned a small little owl sitting on top of my monitor, checking whether I've done my Spanish lessons for the day or not. To accomplish this, I want to 3D print the owl out of a couple of different PLA colors. I wanted to have displays in its eyes be, uh, so that we can give it some emotions, whether it's happy if I did my lesson or angry if I didn't do Spanish for that day. To check whether I did Spanish or not, I want to be able to connect the owl to Wi-Fi. I'll show you how we can actually get the data out. Besides the eyes, I also want it to be able to make sounds, so we can give it some happy and angry sounds to correlate with the eyes. Besides that, I also wanted to have hidden wiring so it can't see any cables or wires. And as I mentioned earlier, I want it to be on top of my monitor, so I'll design a special fit for my monitor so that you can just clip in, but I'll leave the files in the step format so you can adjust them to your monitor. So let's check how we can actually get the data from the internet and then see the component selection for this project. Before we get any further into the project, we need to figure out how we're actually gonna extract the data that we need if the streak is extended or not. So if you, on your PC, go to your profile Duolingo, you'll see uh, this profile name. So for me, this is it here. And if you enter it into the URL like this, uh, you will get a lot, a lot of text. But here's the thing here. Let's just go to pretty print so that you can see it a bit more clearly. This is just uh, a lot of uh, JSON formatted text. And if we search for current streak, uh, here we, we can find it here. You can see the start date and the end date of your streak and we can just use So the end date is the date when you last actually extended your streak and we can compare that to the Today's date and if those match that means that you did your lesson and if they don't match that means you're in trouble and that you need to do your Spanish lesson So it's pretty easy to do. I'll do that using the ESP32 C6 uh, let's go and uh, look what else I'm gonna use from the electronic side. Now that you've seen my idea for the project and that we can actually get the data that we need, it's time to actually make the physical thing. I started off by actually looking at the different modules and then I came across this. This is a pair of uh, LCD uh, displays, rounder LCD displays, that are mounted on a single PCB to pretty much function as eyes, which is the perfect thing that we need for our project. And besides that, I'm gonna use these things here, which is an ESP32 C6 and a DF Player Mini. So not many electronic components, three electronic components in total, plus a speaker for, for us to have the display eyes and also have the speaker so we can play different MP, MP3 files. That pretty much runs up all of the electronics. Now I'll show you how we connect all of them and then we can go further on to finish the project. As you've seen from the component selection, there are only four things that we need to connect for this project. Uh, the main thing are the eyes, we have the speaker, we have the DF player mini that actually connects to the speaker and we have the ESP32. Uh, you'll have this uh, connection diagram uh, down below in Element 14 community but there's nothing else much to it. So the DF Player Mini communicates with the ESP over serial and uh, UART and we have the ESP communicating to the eyes over SPI. And that's pretty much it. On the electronic side, this project is really simple. 
So to design Duo, I had to find a model of it because I'm not really good at organic modeling. I'm good at making gears, bearing mounts, stuff like that. So uh, on Sketchfab, I found the Mapper 720 who made this really, really amazing model and published it at, under the license where everyone can use it with giving attribution and just some great, great work. So I downloaded this model and popped it into Fusion. This is how the mesh model looks and I just converted it to a solid. But uh, this isn't the size that really worked for me. So uh, the thing that actually determined how big Duo had to be were the eye modules. So this is that PCB with the lenses. Besides that, here are the electronics that you've seen. And now we can make Duolingo around it. And let me give him the feet. So here is the full Duolingo. As you can see, he's a bit bigger. And I've added this uh, white part around his eyes so I can keep the eyes looking oval. That's not necessary, but you can do it however you want it. And I custom designed these feet, uh, these feet so that uh, he sits on my monitor flush, as you will see rather soon. Let's see how he turned out in the uh, real world. We figure out the CAD and the electronics. The last thing we have to do before we test Duo is the software. This is by far the worst part of this project and you'll soon see why. The code itself is rather simple, but getting it to work, yeah, that was a bit of a hassle. So first of all, you need to have a specific version of DSP boards in the Arduino IDE. So you need to have the 2012, not uh, 2011, 13 or 3 point something. No, you have to have 2012 for this to work. This is how I actually got it to work after a lot, lot, lot of trial and error. Then, if you go and look at the uh, dual eye LCD module, which is the main problem here. It uses a driver which is an upgrade of a popular driver, but it's not well supported. And you have some demos here, but here, but I honestly didn't get them to work. So I had to find another vendor for the same module and get their demos. And after a lot of tweaking and stuff like that, I got them to work. So a few pointers if you want to recreate this, uh, you'll get some libraries here. So the TFT, SPI and the animated GIF library, you need to copy them as they are because you can't just install the new versions because these are the modified libraries. So they actually support this display. And you also in the, then in the TFT, SPI library, you need to modify the user setup with the pins that you are going to use. I'll provide all of the files that I used and you can then modify them so that it works with your hardware if you decide to change anything. Uh, then also another thing and another really useful utility that you're gonna need is this here which is image to see. It's a great little uh, GUI that literally converts any GIF or PNG picture into a .h or .c file that you can then load up in your code and run on the display. So let's go to the final code now. Uh, when I got to the display working the code was rather simple. These are all of the GIFs that I converted using the utility that I've just shown you. You need to enter just a few things here. You need to add, enter your SSID and password for your Wi-Fi so it connects. And you also need to put your username here for Duolingo as I've shown you previously so you can get all of that data. Besides that, it pretty much uh, uh, the code sets up the uh, display and the TF player mini and then depending on the hour that we get it plays uh, different eyes on the duo owl depending on if you did your streak or not and the further in the day you go the angry it gets and if we scroll right down to see the last eye you can see by this name here what how angry the duo can actually get let's finally put the duo together and see how this will actually look like.
and our little Duolingo is finally complete. As you can see, and if you take a closer look, you can see that Duo is a bit confused as to why I haven't done my Spanish. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. So Duo is kind of confused as to why I haven't done my Spanish lessons yet. And the sound you hear, so the sounds are random from around 15 sounds and they're at random intervals. So this thing gets pretty scary when you have it on your monitor doing something else. And he just gives you a little reminder for you to do Spanish. But now that he's finally finished, let's go and test him to see how he works and to see if my Spanish will actually get better and if I'm gonna see my family soon. Let's look at the different ties the duo can make. And before you say it in the comments, I know the eyelids are not white, but I kept it like that because of the 3D printed white parts. First we have the sleeping and the normal eyes. These are for when duo is okay and happy because you did your lessons or it's early in the day. He might also make some sounds like this. <laughs> Or like this. As you can hear those sounds are pretty normal and you know everything is okay. If the day keeps on moving on though and you still haven't done your lessons, Duo starts being confused which you can see by these eyes. If you still haven't done your lesson and the day keeps on progressing, he will go from owl eyes, to cat eyes, to dragon eyes. And you might think, yeah, he can get angry, but just wait and see. At this point, you might also hear some angrier sounds like this. Or like this. If you still haven't done your lesson, Do gets even more angry and develops full-on shutting gun. This is a pretty good time to start thinking about doing your lesson and stop playing with your fate. With more waiting, you will actually discover that Do isn't really a bird and shouldn't be messed around with. You might even hear some sounds like this. If all of this still hasn't convinced you to do your Spanish lesson, come on, it's just one lesson. And it's already 10 p.m. And then I don't know what else to tell you. Good luck in the void. You cannot hide. I see you. There is no life in the void. Only. Can it go further than this? Probably maybe when it passes midnight and you lose your streak, but I haven't ventured that far to experiment with that. So let's make Duo happy by actually completing a Spanish lesson and see how he reacts to that. You've seen all of the eyes and you've heard some of the sounds that Duo can produce, but it's time for a full test now. So as you can see by how angry Duo is, I haven't done my Spanish lesson today and I'm just about to finish this Spanish lesson. So when I click check and when I get the streak extended, Duo should change to a happy Duo and everything will be fine. I can't wait to see my family again. Okay, let's claim the XP. And we'll see if the streak will update. Yeah, the streak was frozen, so Duo was really not happy. And that should be it. So in the next update cycle, Duo should uh, update his eyes and he should be happy now. And yeah, that's it. There he goes. So Duo is okay with me now and I can go on with my day until tomorrow when I need to do another Spanish lesson. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you had fun watching me make this rather terrifying little creature that's gonna sit on my monitor and make sure that I do all of my Spanish lessons. If you want to recreate this project for... Okay, I'll do Spanish. Calm down, Duo. If you want to recreate this project for some unknown reason, you can find all of the files, codes and everything else down below in Element 14 community. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And thanks for watching, see you in the next video, bye!